Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learn back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Leo November 2019 horoscope forecast, part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is as far as November goes, the sun will be in Scorpio from the 1st until the 22nd. So the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on one's home, uh, family life, emotional security, who the person is at the core, that end or latter part of life. Um, the less dominant parent, which is often uh, the mother, uh, people you're close to home with, you know, foundations, roots, traditions, ancestry. And given that this is Scorpio energy, this may um, really be done with a lot of uh, passion and energy, a lot of um, really a lot of emotional intensity. Uh, it could also be done with a lot of incisiveness and also by digging deep. I mean, this could be a, there could be a strong focus at this time and concentration of energy on digging deep, uh, so to speak, into one's uh, roots and ancestry at this time. And also um, shining the light, it could be in some cases that perhaps who you may be uh, at the core, I mean, Scorpio qualities, such as being very incisive, probing, being able to go through subterfuge and superficiality, um, being passionate, resourceful, uh, resilient, anything that could be connected uh, with Scorpio, being able to be having a very transforming nature. So anyway, well, uh, the next thing up is as far as November goes, the sun will be in Sagittarius from the 22nd until the 30th. So the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus and attention on love, romance, children, personal popularity, things of fun, amusement and enjoyment, investments, gambling, speculation uh, in some cases, uh, sports even perhaps but uh given that this is sagittarius energy uh this may be done with a lot of uh, enthusiasm a lot of expansive energy a lot of exuberance and also uh, perhaps to a lot of uh, jocularity and uh, even philanthropy this could be something too uh given that this is sagittarius energy in some cases this could shine the light uh so to speak on a Sagittarius uh, child or lover, it could be a strong focus on one or more of these people, and it could be a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Sagittarius traits. It could be also at this time too, it might shine a light in some cases on some recklessness and foolhardiness in connection with gambling, speculation, and investments, but it could also be a very lucky and fortuitous period for that, given that we're talking about Sagittarius, um, the sign of, of course, associated with luck and fortune and prosperity even. Now, a lot of this, uh, how this pads out, this could be uh, predicating, dependent on aspects. This makes the points in one's chart. I mean, if this makes a, at some point a sextile or trine uh, to one's natal Jupiter, it could really be very auspicious for something monetary in terms of speculation or gambling or investments, or even uh, say if it makes a sextile or trine to one's natal uh, Venus. And of course, gambling where legal, of course, is what I'm saying. But Anyway, the next thing up is there will be a full moon in Taurus on November 12th. So the 10th house is what will be emphasized in highlight. So at this time, well, uh, in some cases, uh, this could be about the completion or culmination or ending of a Taurus type uh, uh, career or vocation. It could be something like doing something in finance, stock broking, uh, broker work, fi uh, banking, something with agriculture, arch uh, architecture, construction, building, uh, something with the arts such as drawing, painting, sculpting, or even acting. And it could be also a time where maybe you feel you've hit your, your point, your pinnacle of success at this time in some cases, uh, in doing so with a lot of uh, Taurus-like persistence, uh, perseverance, and patience at this time. Now, in some cases, this could be a time too where you may become tired exasperated or full so to speak at an overly 
um, perhaps stubborn, obstinate, uh, immutable, unyielding, uh, even monotonous or overly stoic or stolid dominant parent, which is often the father, somebody in a position of authority over you, perhaps, or even uh, somebody that might simply be prominent in your uh, career at this time. And you may also be getting tired, full, or exasperated over something in your career that might be overly uh, monotonous at this time. It could also be, uh, in, in some cases too, this could be about, I mean, you're talking about, um, you know, full moons in astrology can be uh, re about revelations and uh, unveilings at this time. And sometimes this could be uh, a revelation or unveiling of a 10th house person that might be overly avaricious or greedy or money hungry or overly stubborn and set in their ways. And it might have been something that perhaps you weren't quite uh, cognizant of uh, previously or even a revelation, some isolated cases of a person that might have been stubbornly, so to speak, or persistently trying to do something maybe to, uh, to really, uh, do something and to do something negative or, or slander you or do something which would have a, a detrimental effect on your uh, reputation and it could be a time where it might come to light where somebody may have so-called stubbornly or, or persistently try been trying to do something to damage your reputation or public image so those are some ways uh, this could manifest and uh, pan out so anyway well, the next thing up is uh, there will be a new moon in Sagittarius on November 26th. So the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. So at this time, well, one way this may manifest, this could be the beginning in some cases, if you're unattached at this time, Leo, of a, a Sagittarius uh, love connection. It could be a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Sagittarius uh, characteristics. It could be a time where you may start uh, some Sagittarius sport. It could be something connected with horses or uh, horseback riding, archery, target practicing, playing darts, something that could be uh, it could be Sagittarius related. I don't know if target practicing is really a sport, but you could see that as some kind of a thing connected with some hobby or fun or something fun, amusing or, or enjoyable. At this time as well, Leo, uh, just be careful that this is not the beginning of some recklessness in connection uh, with something. It was some investing or some gambling at this time. And uh, in some cases too, could also be uh, a time too where you really, um, really about, you might be starting to really uh, approach things such as personal popularity with a lot of optimism, exuberance, and enthusiasm, maybe starting to do things to improve that uh, at this point uh, in time as well, or embarking on some kind of uh, investment in doing so with a lot of uh, positive Sagittarius energy at this time or even a love connection with that kind of Sagittarius energy. So anyway, um, well, the next thing up is Mercury will be in Scorpio. So the fourth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted and it will be retrograde from like the first until the 21st of the month. Now this can manifest in a multitude of ways. This could be about, in some cases, uh, you could be having uh, some probing, provocative, deep conversations and communications with family members, people you're close to home with. It could be uh, somebody uh, in maybe even people and could be the less dominant parent, which is often uh, the mother. It could be a time to consider it's going to be retrograde for a good part of the month. You could be going back to very passionate and very incisive and deep conversations. Um, it could be uh, it could be regarding you know with people that you're close to home with that home family members the less dominant parent which is often the mother but also could be a time where you might be going back to mentally digging deep so to speak into matters with your roots and your ancestry and doing things where you're really going um, really really um, 
like I stated before, just really going deep into those uh, matters at this time. And, uh, and also, um, go, this could be a time, too, where you really mentally could be going beyond subterfuge and superficiality with fourth house people uh, at this time as well. And also, it could be thinking very, like being, uh, being the investigator uh, mentally, so to speak, and in those matters, again, with your roots and your ancestry and your mind may be very probing and you might be asking you know, a lot of questions regarding these matters at this time and it may have been maybe something you're going back to considering that it's going to be retrograde for a good part of the month now mercury can also be about siblings this could be about scorpio sun moon or ascendant people or simply ones that embody scorpio characteristics that might figure uh, prominently in your home more more so than usual your family life maybe even people you feel close to home with it could be uh, doing things around the home like renovation could also be perhaps getting you uh, ready for your that ladder that end part of life um, and getting maybe in touch really uh, with your roots your ancestry and could also be some communication about who you are at the core which of course which could be like Scorpio uh, qualities and talking about uh, perhaps being very incisive very deep very probing uh, being able to go beyond subterfuge and superficiality, being very resourceful, uh, passionate, and very resilient. So those are some ways that this can manifest and pan out at this time. Next thing up. Well, Venus will be in Sagittarius as far as November goes from the 1st until the 25th. So the 5th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Well, at this time, Leo, you might... Uh, if you're unattached, you may connect with a Sagittarius sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Sagittarius traits. It could be for a superficial connection, or it could be just for just a regular love romantic uh, situation or scenario. Uh, it could also be a time where you might find yourself um, really enjoying Sagittarius type sports, such as uh, archery or horse, uh, or watching horse races. Uh, it could be um, darts, anything that could be uh, Sagittarius uh, related and could also be a time where there might be just a simple love and, and being enamored with sports and sharing that enjoyment with children, with lovers at uh, this time as well. And also about valuing uh, exuberance, enthusiasm, optimism, jocularity with fifth house people. And also at this time, you might find yourself at this time, be very careful, Leo, that you're not spending recklessly on something connected with some kind of um, gambling or something of a speculative nature or even uh, some investment. So those are some ways this can manifest and pan out for you at this time, uh, Leo. So anyway. Well, uh, last but not least, uh, well, I want to go back to the Venus and Sagittarius and the fifth house being emphasized and how the one more thing, this could also be a time too, where you may value a lot of positivity, a lot of exuberance, enthusiasm, a lot of expansive energy in trying to attain personal uh, popularity and even valuing perhaps jocularity and joviality in order to attain greater personal popularity. Last but not least, Venus will be in Capricorn as far as November goes from the 25th until the 30th. So the sixth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. Well, uh, Leo, this could be a time where if you're unattached, you may connect with a Capricorn sun, moon or ascendant person or simply one that embodies Capricorn traits. It might be someone prominent in your daily routine, your place of employment. It could be somebody that factors in strongly in your health life, such as somebody you might work out with at some health and fitness venue. This could also be a time too, uh, Leo, where and in some cases you might be spending money on some Capricorn related, uh, health related uh, matter. You might find yourself uh, doing something like uh, spending money on, on maybe some knee problem or something with the hamstrings, the bones or the joints, but also it could be just about simply uh, very conservative and methodical spending 
on health related matters in your daily routine at this time and spending with a lot of plant energy premeditating before spending it could be like compiling uh, you know, what's your a list of what you want to get in the prices and, and trying to find out what the cheapest prices are uh, for what you're getting for example spending may be done with a lot of premeditation on health related matters and just in your daily routine in general even employment related matters and at this time too uh, Leo, if you're unattached, you might, um, well, well, what I want to get at is, last but least, as far as this Venus and Capricorn, the sixth house being emphasized and highlighted, another way this may manifest and pan out, this could be about valuing um, conventionality, um, discipline, structure, consistency, um, Think uh, conservatism in, in matters in your daily routine, your your health, your it could be uh, also your place of employment, and uh, anything and even in service rendered. Uh, really, uh, the, those are some ways that this might uh, pan out. So anyway, people, that'll conclude uh, this YouTube uh, astrological segment. For uh, my Leo November 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two and stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Leo November 2019 horoscope forecast part two of two. Until next time people Edwin Learns saying stay well.